I came across this quite by accident. Hollywoodism, how the Jews invented Hollywood, made in 1998. And I decided to watch it, and I'm glad I did. It's a look at the early movie moguls of Hollywood, all of whom were Jewish. While this is very sympathetic to them, and certainly has its own position to push, I also found it quite insightful, particularly in showing why they had the views that they did and why they had them. The start of the documentary when they talk about the pale in Russia is revealing, not because of its accuracy, but because of what they believe to be true. Later on, there's a point about how these ideas played out and still play out in Hollywood. There are also three areas that I felt should be highlighted. At the 34 minute mark, where they talk about the mogul's attitude to intermarriage. The 52 minute mark, where they talk about raising their Jewishness. And the 1 minute 18 minute mark, where they talk about the mogul's attitude to the mixing of the bloods. I have noticed that Hollywood historically did erase Jews, which is why so many people, myself included, can be so surprised that it was run by Jews. A movie that's still famous is The Jazz Singer, which even though it was made in 1927, only became public domain on the 1st of January 2023. It's the first talkie, and it's about a Jew who wants to marry outside of his faith, and decides he'd rather be famous than Jewish. This is the only movie I can think of for nearly the next 50 years to have an expressly Jewish story. Other movies have Jewish sentiments and ideas, but they are not expressly about Jews. In fact, religion is normally in the background and rarely in the foreground. The Catholic Church brought in the Hayes Code, which regulated the contents of Hollywood movies for over 30 years. 1933 to 1968. This meant that nearly every religious movie you have ever seen from the golden age of Hollywood is about the Catholic Church. Which meant that in a predominantly Protestant America, Jews pushed Catholicism. It is incredible, once you see it, just how invisible the Protestant faith is from old-time American movies. Often, a preacher will preach in the church with no other identifying feature. Another area that they touch on and which I have noticed myself is how Jewish actors and actresses were turned into non-Jews. I didn't know that Lauren Bacall was born Betty Joan Pesky to Jewish parents. But I have noticed something which continues today and that is the blurring of the line between Jews and non-Jews. I remember watching an episode of The Twilight Zone, the original series from the 1960s, where the main actor in a particular episode had a very English name and looked very East European, which got me to thinking about the idea that many actors who were clearly Jewish often played parts that were not Jewish. It further got me thinking about how many parts that were for Jews that were played by non-Jews, which seemed a bit strange until you think about how often intermarriage and race mixing is supported and endorsed, and not just by Hollywood.